I think we're good. G J H. It's in the name. Howdy, y'all. It's your buddy Gregory James Holes here. And I just want to talk about the darker and more depressing stuff that I put onto YouTube from time to time. Because every time I put out one of those videos, like last week's The Voices in My Head, every time I make them and upload them, I'm just really scared about what you all might think. Because they're just very heavy and embarrassing and include a lot of just edgy and intense feelings. And I'm basically just throwing you all the knife and you could cut me or accept me and it just freaks me the fuck out. Yo, like, no to Greg? No more knife metaphors, brah. But every time I put up one of these videos, uh, people are very warm and receptive and love what I do. I mean, for the most part. I mean, some people might think it's shit. Uh, but at the same time, people do validate these feelings that I have. And that they have them too. And that they feel hopeless. And that it's okay to feel bad. You know? That it, it's okay to feel fucked up sometimes. And it just makes me feel so good to just be gutsy and to just not give a fuck about what people think, and then to realize, like, oh no, people feel this way too, and it's okay to feel this way. I love it, and I love doing these videos. But also, uh, whenever I put these videos up, it makes uh, some people who really care about me and really love me, it makes them uncomfortable, because I'm showing a side of myself that they probably don't want to see. And I totally get that. But these people also feel like these videos kind of represent who I am all the time that I'm off the deep end, or I'm going off the deep end, I'm at the end of my rope, and I need help, and I'm freaking the fuck out, and somebody help me! Ah! And I just think it's nonsense. I mean, these videos are an act. I mean, I spent a fuck ton of time setting all this shit up, and I've been rehearsing this video for so long. I mean, fuck, it was daytime when I started putting up the lights for this shit. It, it's crazy. Like, I spend so much time rehearsing, and so much time preparing, and going over every little thing I'm gonna say. And even if I was just flipping open my MacBook and turning on my internal camera and just going, Ugh, and then sending that onto YouTube, that would just be a performance too. It's just a snapshot. It's just a moment in time where I felt a certain way and I wanted to share it with everybody. Now, for example, like last week's The Voices in My Head. When I wrote that video, I was fucked up and really upset and just really pissed off with my anxiety and depression and wanted to rise above myself, so I just wrote this video really quickly. And then the next day when I went to go film it, I wasn't angry. You know, I had a spring in my step, I was feeling real good, and I had a focus and a vision and I was excited about this video. And yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed doing it and, and it was great. Here's an ultra serious take. All the high-pitched wailing that just overlaps them while I'm running in circles, just remaining in limbo until I figure out what the fuck to do. I mean, which voice do I listen to? The one that wants me on my ass long enough until I'm riddled with bed sores, or the one that wants me up on my feet until they're blitzed and bleeding? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, I make happy videos, I make sad videos, sometimes I make happy and sad videos, and anybody who saw Inside Out last year will know that happiness and sadness go hand in hand, and that you have to feel both of them in order to experience a little thing called feeling. You need to go through shit to come out the other side. And I hope that's reflective in the variety of different videos that I make. I make happy, I make sad, I just try to be honest to who I am. But I also listen to music that's just expressive and has self-deprecating lyrics and just makes me feel better about myself and my feelings and my life. There's this one dude, uh, his name is Jeff Rosenstock, and he made this album last year called We Cool. It's his pop punk album. And it's totally badass. I fucking love it. Jeff Rosenstock is just a really cool motherfucker. I'm, I'm having a t-shirt on, uh, which characters him as a dog. Uh, I'll probably have another shot that I can show you. But if you read into the lyrics on this record, which you can listen to at quoteunquoterecords.com for free. You can download this album for free right now on the official website. If you look into the lyrics... You would walk away and think, holy shit, Jeff is just going off the deep end. He's freaking out. I mean, he's at the end of his rope. On We Cool, Jeff Rosenstock talks about being in his mid-30s and still not finding his way. While his more successful friends are buying homes and having kids, he's getting drunk in hotels, beating the shit out of himself with painful memories. There's a depth of sensitivity on this record that just brutalizes me. 
And even though I'm 10 years younger than Jeff, I still relate closely to his struggles, and I'm haunted to know that these sad feelings and regrets will never fade away. Oh, it's so depressing. But it's also really fun and upbeat and driving, and it just makes me feel good about feeling bad. And that's what I want from art. I want that release. You know, I just want to be free from my fucking problems for just a little bit. And also, Jeff isn't a sad sack, or at least I don't think so. If you look at interviews or if you listen to the podcast he does with his buddy Chris, he seems like a really warm, generous, sweet, awesome guy. So no, these videos should not represent who I am. They're just tic-tac-sized snapshots of who I am. I make these videos to get the monkey off my back. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it, and I'm not going to judge you for that. I completely get it. But to assume that I feel this way all the time is just ridiculous. And newsflash, it's okay to feel bad. That's all I have to say. Peace out, players. Go listen to Jeff Rosenstock. He's fucking great. And I hope you all have a good one. Peace out, players. Bye. New video every Sunday. 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 Please leave me some comments. They're very supporting. Encourage them. I love them. Also, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and like this video too. Liking the video will raise the visibility of it, meaning when I post a new one, you will be able to see it more and other people see it more. And also, check out some other videos, like last week's The Voices in My Head, which I talked about. Um, don't really have much else to say. Don't know what I'm doing next week. I love you all. I'm still working on the documentary about my mom. It's coming along great. My mom's doing really well. And that's it. Peace out, please. Bye.